So Jackie, what, uh, what is the sort of enduring appeal of, of Noel Coward in his plays? Well, it's very interesting. Um, a lot of people think it's, it's uh, because they're, they are comedies and that they are, you know, people are always happy to come and laugh. And I certainly think that his comedies do have um, a very enduring appeal. Um, also, but I think it's more than just that. I think in a lot of cases, well, certainly in most cases, his right, his he was pushing envelopes. Um, it's hard. I don't think people immediately think of Noel Coward as a subversive, but in fact, in many ways, he was. Um, certainly, in terms of his uh, sexual mores and sexual politics, um, he would he would just kind of push the edges. Many of his plays, in fact, got banned. Um, it, you know, first time around, and he had to do rewrites and so on. So, I think in that sense, there's always something kind of just they don't sit back. They just uh, they and in this case with the one acts, you actually get to see how he played with so many different genres. I mean, Astonished Heart is a piece that uh, this one act piece, which is a uh, about a woman's obsessive love for her psychiatrist and ends up with uh, with a death and I mean it's very kind of quite dark and, and, and really kind of quite scary in terms of the kind of psychology that it's playing with um, and in fact that the fun for me was to kind of how to how, how do you choose how you put any three together because there's no given um, template for it and for me one of the fun things to do was to really try to show in each one of these evenings or each one of these productions what the range was so for example in the courthouse which is our more kind of experimental space if you like um, I was I put together astonished heart then followed by family album which is it's a Victorian drama which then goes completely awry as a group of Victorians who are sort of at a funeral of a parent get absolutely drunk and start to argue and bicker about the will. And it's very funny, but, but again, very kind of slightly off kilter. Um, and then we follow that with a, with a more traditional kind of coward comedy. So it, it, it really is fun to, to, to look and see that, yes, I think he's always known as the kind of the, the, the master comic writer, but I think his writing was much, you know, has a much more um, lasting imprint in all sorts of areas. And, and I think that's why we kind of keep coming back to it.